It's actually pretty sweet. I turned it on and didn't even know it started. This car I'm driving right now, it's a plug-in electric vehicle. It's actually powered by uh, one of Johnson Controls lithium-ion batteries. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet vehicle. I wish I had it, but can't afford it just yet. Uh, I applied to probably about 10 schools. I chose uh, UWM for the partnership. I saw that they were partnered with Johnson Controls and that together would be something that is very unique. People are very surprised that the level of high-tech research and development that is going on. And particularly, they're also surprised by the partnership. The opportunity for universities to work more closely together with industry partners opens up opportunities to be able to more successfully take technology from the laboratory ultimately into the product. What really excites me is seeing um, the UWM students and the UW students who are working inside the labs that we, we put in place, collaborating and having you know, our scientists that are their mentors. So this is our electrochemistry lab. And what we're able to do up here is come up with a technology breakthrough at a very small scale, right around a coin cell level. Looking at different elements, how we can mix these together, the different ratios, and really hoping for that high payoff in terms of energy density for the future. Since we work with lithium, it's very reactive. We make sure that the moisture level inside the glove box is as low as possible. Most universities are not set up for that, so we're actually lucky that we are able to have this box. A coin cell is really a, a proof of concept where the pouch cell would actually be the product that we're going to build. Once we have a technology breakthrough, what we're able to do is take that downstairs from our dry room and we're able to scale that up. And this dry lab capability located right here on campus is one that uh, really doesn't exist in university environments. Johnson Controls provides, I think, a, a grounding in some sense for the applied research that the faculty are doing. So we integrate our technology to apply to real production. Milwaukee is, is focused on the basic electrochemistry of the batteries, whereas the work that's going on here extends outward to include how does that battery fit into the, the larger system, whether it goes into a vehicle or whether it goes into a system in support of a wind turbine or whatever it might be. Really, there's not another place in the country that is, is doing it the way that we are. The partnership itself is going to transform uh, our campus and it's going to transform Milwaukee. The fact that you go all the way from the endowed chair uh, to the facilities uh, to uh, the internship opportunities we have for our students, I just think it's second to none. It's creating an environment to get that next technology breakthrough and being able to accelerate its commercialization. Having researchers from industry and, and from academia work together is, is really a critical endeavor in order to succeed in answering those questions about what energy is going to look like in the future. It's pretty awesome. I would want to be anywhere else because what I'm doing is definitely like changing the future and hopefully changing the battery world. Mm -hmm.